Okay everybody, this is going to be sort of a tutorial on how to use Procreate, Canva, your Cricut, all of that sort of stuff to design all of your stuff for bookbinding. So if you were curious how I um, design all my covers, how I import them, how I send them to the Cricut, this video is going to go into that and then I'll have preceding videos about how to actually bookbind. Okay, first things first, you're going to need something to actually do your design on. I use the um, iPad, I believe it's a seventh generation. Um, so a lot of people have asked me if they can use their phone and you totally can, but I find it so much easier to use something that has a pen. So um, first you'll need to download um, either Canva or Procreate. So Procreate, there is a fee to it. Um, I believe it's $10 just to buy the app, but then there is no like, fees after that. Canva, on the other hand, um, you it's free to use, but unfortunately you will have to buy the pro form in order for you to download a transparent background. So I'm going to go into each and show you all the pros and cons. First, we're going to start with Canva. This is what it looks like. Like I said before, there's no fee to start using it, um, but you're going to go up here. You're going to create a design and it's going to pop up all of these different types of designs you can use. Um, I honestly normally just go with like a paper size, so I just do a flyer portrait, and then it's going to pop up all of the paper for you, and then on this side, you're gonna have all of the elements that you can use. So, I tried to zoom in a little bit, you're going to have elements here, and then this is going to be all of the um, extra symbols and stuff that you can use. You can search things like say I want to add a flower. I'm going to search flower. And then it'll pop up. They can. There's graphics, photos, frames, all sorts of stuff. And you can always click see all. And when you see this pro icon right here, that just means that you unfortunately cannot use it unless you have like the pro form so you can put it on here and everything but you're not going to be able to save it unless you have if unless you're paying for the pro subscription so i always try to find ones that are free and like this is a really really cute one good line work and everything and then um you can click uh, duplicate delete other stuff like that so super awesome you can move it you can move it left and right um, and so on. So there's that. There's also on the left hand side text. You can add text, you can search fonts, add a text box, everything. So you can mess around with it, do fun things, but I'm going to show you how to download it because you need a transparent background in order for it to show up on your Cricut. So first you're going to click this little um, like save as icon and you're going to click the download button right here. And you want to make sure that it's a PNG. So PNGs use um, transparent backgrounds as long as it allows for it. So you want to click this transparent background right here. Again, I do not have the subscription, so I cannot do this. But if you want to use Canva, you will need to get the subscription in order to use a transparent background. I think they allow you like three or four different um, designs before you have to actually pay. So you will do that and you can send it to your computer or whatever um, is connecting to your Cricut. So that is how you use Canva. Now I'm gonna go into Procreate and as you can see, all of my um, stuff is in here. It'll show you all of your previous projects. So I'm gonna go up here, I'm gonna click this plus sign and then it'll pop up all of the canvas sizes. Again, I just go for paper, 11 by eight and a half. And the good thing about Procreate is it allows you to have so much creativity. Hopefully my pen is not dead. Okay, but you can draw and you can click the back button, you can erase, you can smudge things. It just gives you so much freedom and you have different layers to work with. So this is why I like Procreate so much. Um, you can add in text box, you can insert photos, um, you can um, edit the canvas size, you can add a grid, you can do um, edit the hue, saturation, brightness, all sorts of things that are just amazing. And so, and you can also do transparent backgrounds. So you can click no background. So that's why this is amazing. And you would just come up here, click share, and then you would do it as a PNG. And it exports and you can send it to your computer. So that's why that's amazing. Now I'm gonna show you what I do 
when sending it to my computer. So this is one of my designs for the Accord of Thorns and Roses uh, Penguin Bound Classic that I've been working on. So like I said before, I'm going to send it as a PNG and I am going to just airdrop it to my MacBook. And then I will show you what it looks like on my MacBook. Okay, so I'm just going to open up the Cricut Design Space. So they're going to ask you to create a subscription and everything, but once you're in here, it's super easy. You can go uh, create a new project, top right, and I am just going to um, go on the left-hand side. So I'm going to go upload because I want to upload my PNG. I'm going to go upload image, but as you can see, all of my previous designs are here. So upload image, I'm gonna browse, I'm gonna find it, and I'll come back and show you guys. Okay, so I found it. It's just gonna ask you some simple questions. If it is just a black and white um, PNG, which it should be if you're designing a book cover, um, you're just gonna go simple because it is high contrast. It's literally black and white, the highest contrast that you can get. You're gonna click continue. It's just gonna show you your image that's going to be cut, and you can always click this preview cut image to make sure that it looks right and it looks perfect. So we're going to apply and continue. And so you're gonna click cut image. You don't want to print then cut because that is assuming that you want it printed and cut. We just want to cut the vinyl that we are going to be uploading into the Cricut. So you're gonna click upload. It's going to come all to your uploads. You're going to click it down here and you're going to click add to canvas. Here is the fun part. You are going to adjust this to make sure that it's going to fit your book cover size. They have all of the all of the measurements at the top and the bottom, so you can go from there. And I like to make sure that there's a little bit of room right here because I don't want the Cricut to cut directly on there. So I just like to make sure there's, there's a little bit of room. Once you make sure that you have it all set up, you can click make. And it's gonna ask you to save the project. I don't wanna save this one because I'm not done yet. Also, make sure when you are cutting this, I didn't do it in here, but it needs to be flipped. It needs to be mirrored. I will show you guys how to do that. You're just going to select it. You're going to click flip and flip horizontal because otherwise it will come out like you're looking at it as if it's in a mirror. So anyways, now, like I said, I'm going to make sure that there's a little bit of room between the mat and you're going to just click continue. Again, you can make sure that it's the size that you want. You'll click continue. It's going to connect to your Cricut and then you'll be able to print. Um, like I said, this is just a tutorial on showing you how to use Procreate, Canva, and uploading it onto your Cricut. I don't have my Cricut set up, so it's obviously not going to find it, but I'm gonna be uploading more tutorials. So let me know if this helped you guys or not. And let me know if you have any questions in the comments, but um, this is how you use Canva, Procreate to design your book covers and also to send it to uh, Cricut. All right, guys, that is the tutorial on how to use Procreate and Canva. If you have any other questions, just let me know. You can drop it in the comments. I'm going to be coming out with more tutorials on how to actually book bind. Um, I'm probably gonna come out with a couple different parts, um, supplies to use, everything like that. But like I said, if you have any other questions, please drop them in the comments. And yeah, appreciate you guys. If it helped, definitely hit subscribe.